told your friend you're not okay And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way and Guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away As you fade away, yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. You're watching Fortex. So after a long time, finally, Danny SPB released the new update for the Beast OS 5.5. We already done the GPU performance test between the top 3 contender of Android 12 ROMs and Siberia on the comparison, you can check that video from the iCard. Remaining comparison test videos like performance and the battery soon will be released. Today in this video, we will see the flashing process because I got some issues while flashing the ROM. You will see all the new changes which are giving the complete new overall look of the ROM along with the performance test for the GPU and the CPU. At the last I shown some issues in the ROM so watch the video till the end. Now without further ado, let's get started. I was using the Awake OS Plasma version so I need to flash the update via TWRP for that you need to download the full update zip. But if you are already on the Cyber OS then you can download the OTA via system OTA updates. If you get the update here, you just need to download the update and tap install or manually download and flash the update via local update. But if you are flashing the update via TWRP, then boot your phone first in a fastboot mode, connect it to the PC and then open the CMD and type fastboot devices to check the device connected properly or not, then do fastboot erase user data. Last type fastboot reboot recovery. Phone will boot to the TWRP recovery, now transfer the cyber update zip in the phone storage. If you can't able to access the storage in the PC, then do format data in the TWRP. Now your storage will be accessible. Tap install and flash the cyber zip. Once flashing gets completed, do format data and then reboot to the system. So this time flashing is somewhat tricky if you are coming from the other ROM because whole base of the ROM has been changed here. Finally phone booted with the amazing boot animation of the cyber OS. After completing the initial setup, we boot to the home screen of Quick Step Launcher. So let's find out the changes in the about phone. As I already told you, this new update is the complete overall of user interface. ROM has the new setting panel with the one UI like look but with the material you design. On the top, we guess the about phone. If you tap on it, we will see the new about phone section will be well arranged with the, all the tabs like the device details like the processor, storage, battery, etc. If you tap on the Android version, so now here we can see the Android version is clearly shown as the 12L with the new Android 12L material U clock static. This is the Cyber iOS version 5.5 with the June 2022 security patch. This new update has the new kernel 4.9.319 built it with the Proton Clang Toolchain 13. This ROM is built it on the 1st July 2022. Thanks to the Dany SPB and the team to keeping alive one of the finest ROM of the OnePlus 6. Let's check out what are the new changes we get in the new update. As I already told that this update is the complete overall of user interface. We can see the small elements also got changed like the volume panel, media, music, notification panels. They now got the new volume level percentage along with the new gear icon animation. OnePlus Alice Slider got the new ring, vibration modes, notification overlay similar to the Evolution X. If you go to the settings, whole tab like about phone, Wi-Fi network display, cyber settings are well organized in the panel with the big material you cards, which looks stunning. If you tap on the about phone, we get the device image with the current wallpaper you are using on the home screen, which gives very unique look to the ROM. In the recent panel, ROM implemented with the new big size screenshot, Google Lens, new cross icon, which can be used for the closing the current running application and the clear all button. If you go to the quick setting panel, you can see the cards in the quick setting panel are more rounded now. Brightness ladder has the new automatic and the manual icons, so you can easily understand are you on the automatic or the manual brightness mode. On the top of the quick setting panel, all the status bar items like the time, carrier, battery, etc. are available and you can quickly access some of these applications. New settings panel has the new one UI like look, but with the material you theming, which looks cool and settings can easily accessible via one hand. ROM comes with the call recording which is already present in the old version but some icons in the status bar are bigger now like the ongoing call icon. ROM has the battery widget but to access it you need to first install the setting services APK then add the battery widget to our widget section. 
but it has some bugs like we cannot see any of the battery percentage for the connected devices not even for the device battery percentage. Now ROM has the icon similar to the stock Oxynos in the app drawer. In the system setting we get the new gesture navigation which has now more to enables for the navbar and back gestures. Like we can increase or reduce the width and the height of the left and the right edges of the back gestures. We can enable the haptic feedback for the navigation bar. There is toggle to disable the back gesture animation. IME button space toggle helps to remove the back gesture peel from the left and the right corner when you're using the keyboard to avoid the accidental touches. Now we'll discuss what are the new fixes has been implemented. Someone asked me in the community post regarding the volume level bug for the IMS calls like WhatsApp or the Telegram. I tested it and it's okay. It's adjusting the sound level correctly. In the last update, game space overlay is not at the set well on the vertical screen, but in this new update, it's fixed. Let's check the safety net. ROM passing the safety net, but the DRM info security level is still L3. Now I will see the performance of this new update using the Geekbench. I ran the Geekbench on the room temperature as the rainy season is going on. Environment is cooler and device temperature is also ranging between 39 to 45. I got the score of 478 for the single core and 1943 for the multi core which is pretty good score. For the OpenGL graphics API I got the score of 2189 and for the Hulkan drivers graphics API I got the score of 1977. So the scores are good but not the best. During this test CPU temperature may rise above 50 degrees Celsius but it will cool down easily. I have seen that Awakenos has better heat management as compared to this build in the last video for the Awakenos. Temperature range between 39 to 45 for the Awakenos. You can check that video from the iCard. It's time to check the bugs. ROM has the Dolby Atmos but I can't able to change its presets in the settings. Not even able to add the new custom presets. But default sound quality is still the best for the both the speakers and the earphones. ROM is still not encrypted. Some users may feel this is as issue if they want more security for their devices. Another bug I found that when I played the YouTube videos in the landscape mode, I can use the pinch to zoom the video and it's playing well. But as soon as I press the volume up or the down buttons, system where gets force close and later I can't able to pinch to zoom the video. Ok Google is not working and don't enable it otherwise it will cause the video lag issue. You can watch the iCard video to enable it using the root method. Don't use new taskbar available in the launcher setting. It may cause some lags in the ROM. Awaken OS and the Evolution X are more smoother than the Sabria but still Sabria also has the good performance. It's not a deal breaking issue. All these bugs may be device specific to me. So please mention in the comment section are you facing these bugs or not. This is all about the new update as per my view, CyberOS is still the beast for the newest customizations and the overall performance in every segment. So it's definitely my first choice in the custom ROMs for the OnePlus 6. That's it guys for today, if you think I help you then please do like and share this video, subscribe our channel, press the bell icon for the notification of our upcoming content. Thanks for watching, see you next time, take care, bye bye.